Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday and today we're going to make a snowman Christmas tree ornament. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for this project you will need two pieces of white fabric measuring 6 inches by 6 inches, four pieces of fabric for the earmuffs measuring 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches, a couple scraps of batting 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches, a 1 inch by 2 inch piece of fabric for the nose, you'll want that orange probably, a 1 inch by 3 inch piece of black fabric for the mouth, a couple buttons for the eyes, a 6 inch piece of cord or a ribbon for the top of the head for the top of the earmuffs, a 10 inch length of ribbon for hanging, polyester fiber fill, some pinking shears and scissors, a marking pencil, fabric glue, a hole punch, that's optional, and the template downloaded from Deb's Days. Along with the template there, you're going to find the supply list for this project too. I've added a direct link in the description right below this video. Go ahead and cut out the circle template. Now place a piece of the 6 inch by 6 inch fabric with the right side facing up. Place the template on top of it, pin it, trace it, and then mark a spot for the eyes. Go ahead and remove the template. Now sew on the buttons for the eyes using some doubled over thread or several strands of embroidery floss. Go ahead and cut out the nose template and trace it onto the orange fabric. And then go ahead and cut out the nose. Then go ahead and use the fabric glue on the wrong side of the fabric and attach it to the snowman. Now we need to cut little circles on the black fabric to make the mouth. I'm using a hole punch. While my hole punch is well used and it requires me to do a bit of trimming when I'm punching them, the circles are actually still coming out more circle-y than if I cut them by hand. But if you prefer to cut them by hand, go for it. Okay, you can use that fabric glue to stick them on. While the glue is drying, go ahead and cut out the earmuffs template. Now stack two of the two by two pieces of earmuff fabric with the wrong sides facing each other, right sides facing out, with a piece of batting in the middle. Go ahead and trace that and take off the template. Now using a straight stitch, sew a quarter inch to the inside of that drawn line. With either your scissors or your pinking shears, trim between that stitching and your traced line. Go ahead and do the same with a second earmuff. If that glue's dried, go ahead and put both pieces of your 6x6 fabric with wrong sides facing each other, right sides facing out, Using a straight stitch, sew a half an inch inside the drawn line. Leave a space open up at the top. And go ahead and cut between that stitching line and the drawn line with your pinking shears or your scissors. Stuff your snowman with fiber fill. You can stuff it as firm or as uh, loose as you'd like. Then fold the ribbon in half. Insert the end into the top of the snowman head. Then we're going to stitch to close the opening. We want to make sure we catch that ribbon. Now center the cording on top of the snowman head, or a ribbon if you're using a ribbon. Stitch right down the middle of it, right over the top of your previous stitching. Attach the earmuffs to the side of the head by just hand sewing them from underneath. And there you go, you have a snowman Christmas ornament. If you'd like to see more craft projects like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And stop by the blog at debsdays.com. See you next week with another project.